so again the today topic for discussion is uh, uh, great text common divisor so the examples on the great text common divisor so find the great text common divisor of these two number right this is round right uh, this is what round bracket uh, 12378,3054 means we have to find the great text common this is the notation for great text common divisor and express it in the form this for some integers x and y so obviously we are going to use the euclidean algorithm that is divide larger number by smaller number that is the uh, one two three seven eight by three zero five four if we uh, divide this number by this number on calculator by using calculator then we have the question four point something that is four is the question and then uh, this number minus uh, three zero five four into four that is this into four subtracting this number from this number we get one six to answer on by using calculator so this is the remainder then next step is what next equation is divide this divisor three zero five four by using this uh, uh, remainder one six two then 18 is the question so if we divide this number by using one six two then we have the answer 18 point something 18 point something means 18 is the question and this minus 18 into 162 gives this number 138. Then 162 uh, divided 162 by 138, obviously quotient is 1 and 24 is the remainder. This minus 138 is what? 24. Then divide 138 by 24, then quotient is 5 point something, means quotient is a, uh, integer quotient, quotient is 5 and plus 18, this minus this number, uh, 24 into 5 is the answer is 18. And 24 divided 24 by 18, quotient is 1, and 24 minus 18 is 6. And then divide 18 by 6, then 3 is the quotient, and 0 is the remainder. So stop here the process. And then second last non zero remainder, that is the second uh, uh, last uh, remainder, that is the last non zero remainder is 6, and therefore the greatest common divisor on these two numbers is 6. Then we have to find x and y such that. 1, 2, uh, 3, 7, x plus 3, 0, 5, 4 into y is equal to 6. That is, uh, uh, use these equations, uh, either uh, uh, numbering these uh, equations from uh, uh, reverse way, that is, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, okay? And then using this uh, 5 or this is 1, and is what? 6 is uh, 24 minus 18 into 1. Then value of 18 is what? 18 is 138 minus 5 into 24 and into 1, this one as it is. If you multiply by 1 here, then we have 138 into 1 minus 24 into 5, okay? Uh, not minus, plus, become plus, this effect of minus, then 24 into 5. And there's 24 into 1 plus 24 into 5 becomes 24 into 6. So write uh, 24 and uh, then write 6 in bracket. And this uh, minus 138 into 1. Then substitute uh, 24, value of 24. And it is what? The value of 24, the here is 24, is 162 minus 138 into 1. And then uh, we have minus 138, it is multiplied by 6. Then 162 into 6 into 1 is 6. And then minus 138 into 1 into 6 becomes into 6. And this minus 138 into 6, minus 138 into 1 becomes minus 138 into 7 because if it takes minus 138 common then we have 1 plus uh, 6 plus 1 this 6 plus 1 that is 7 and then substitute the value of 138 as 3054 minus 168 into 18 this uh, value of 138 here value of 138 is 3054 minus 168 in, 162 into 18 and then multiply by 7 here what do we have uh, minus 3054 into 7 into 7 minus this quantity and minus minus become plus 162 into 7 into 18 okay and plus 6 this is the number 162 so what do we have 162 uh, 132 162 uh, this 6 into 162 or 162 into 6 and this plus 8 162 into 18 into 7 18 into 7 first multiply 18 by 7 and then add in a 6, then we have the answer 132, 162 into 132. And then substitute the value of 162, lastly, substitute the value of 162 is 12378 here, yeah, minus 35, 3054 into 4, okay? And then 
multiply by this 132 in bracket and then this uh, 132 into 4 and this uh, 7 into 30 uh, this uh, 3054 uh, into 7 this, this becomes 13054 minus 535 okay and this is the uh, 12378 into 32 and therefore here x is what x that is the coefficient of 12378 is what 132 and y is minus 535 okay if you calculate this uh, calculation by using calculator that is if you uh, find the value of 12378 into 32 minus uh, 535 into 3054 then we have the answer 6 because it is the value of 6 so you tally your answer by using calculator so next example is again the same type obtain the greatest common divisor of these two numbers minus 11 uh, 66 six and 1474 and express it in, in, in this form so we know that the greatest common divisor of 11 minus 1166 and 1474 and 1174 uh, both are same so if uh, the, here is the negative sign uh, delete that negative sign only find the greatest common divisor of 1166 and 1474 because these the greatest common divisor of these two numbers are uh, same that is uh, the greatest common divisor of minus 1166 and 1474 and double one double six that is by deleting the negative sign uh, the greatest common divisor subset. So we have find first the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. So similar method that is gr divide greatest number by smallest number. And that is if you are given negative sign here, then delete that negative sign. If the both are both here is also negative, both at the both places, if the negative sign, then uh, delete that negative signs and find the greatest common divisor of that positive integers. Okay. So because the greatest common divisor of suppose the numbers are one one double six minus one four seven four again the double one double six and minus one four seven four and the greatest common divisor of these two are same. So we there is a negative sign at both places. Then also that is if the problem is suppose minus one one double six and minus one four seven four, then I can write that minus one one double six and one four seven four greatest common divisor is equal to double one double six and one four seven four and then uh, apply the division algorithm repeatedly and uh, that is uh, the procedure of equilibrium algorithm and find the greatest common divisor that is divide larger number by smaller number the quotient is one and the remainder is three zero eight and continue this process and this last last uh, non-zero remainder is what is uh, 22 and therefore greatest common divisor of these two number is 22 and therefore the greatest common divisor of minus one one double six and one four seven four is also twenty two. Right here, one more sentence that therefore my, in greatest common divisor of minus double one double six uh, comma one four seven four is equal to also ten twenty two. Then uh, we have to find the numbers e m and e n such that this. Okay, so first express. Uh, these numbers one four seven four and double one double six in this form that is use the same method that is uh, uh, use this uh, last uh, second last equation find value of 22 as 66 minus 44 into one and then by using repeated uh, successive use of uh, previous ex, uh, equations we get this equation uh, one four seven four into 19 minus one one double six into 24. So I have sorry here negative sign here. So what do we have? If we if we if we have to find these numbers, then uh, what is the answer? So negative sign we take, take negative sign here. Then what do we have? One one double six into minus twenty four. That is uh, if we take here min minus sign, then we have minus double one double six into twenty four. So m is twenty four. M is twenty four. So right here. Uh, make correction here that m is 24 and what is n what is the coefficient of uh, here is the here is right uh, not 3054 here right 1474 here right 174 174 okay 174 into n here is um, correction in the problem that is right here 174 into n 
So what is 174 into n is 90. So uh, the answer are m is 24 because write negative sign to this number double one double six into 24. So m is uh, 24 and n is what? n is 90. And if you calculate this uh, the calculation, then we have the answer 22. So if uh, the numbers, one of the number is uh, negative, one of the uh, out of these two numbers are one is negative or both are negative, then uh, delete that negative side and only consider the positive numbers. If suppose there are uh, both the numbers are negative, then uh, delete that negative signs because the greatest common denominator of the numbers uh, positive and negative numbers are same. So remember this problem. Someone this problem is uh, different than the previous some problems. That is one number is negative. If, uh, suppose this is positive and this is negative, then also write this sentence. If both are negative, then write also this statement. And just find the greatest common denominator of the uh, positive numbers, positive integers, and then uh, make your arrangement again. The same procedure. Repeat this. Suppose both are negative numbers, then uh, write uh, 1174. Uh, that 1174 into minus 19. That is write minus here sign and again here minus sign, and then adjust the signs, and we get the value of here and here. Uh, these are previous lectures problems. Uh, here is the uh, in the previous lecture, here is the negative sign, so minus minus become plus, so correction here is also in the previous lecture, it is negative sign at 84, it is minus minus plus, so consider this slide by while writing your notes, consider this slide, instead of the previous slide, consider these slides. So these are the also problems. And this is also some new problem. Uh, find integers x and y such that 35 x uh, plus 49 y is equal to 21. This is the problem of this type. That is first find the greatest common denominator 35 and 49. So divide 49 by 35. The question is 1 and 14 is the uh, remainder. And then 35 divide 35 by 40. We have the question is uh, 2 and the remainder is uh, 7. Then write uh, one more equation that is divide 14 by 7. Then question is 2 and remainder is 0. And obviously, the greatest common divisor of 35 and 49 is 7. We have this answer. Okay. And then uh, write one more equation, third equation. Then uh, we have to express 21 in this form. So here, here is 14, here is 7. There is no 21. But if we express 7 in this form, 7 in this form, 35x uh, into 49y. And if we multiply by 3, then we get the 21 answer. Okay. So first express 7 in the form uh, 35 into x plus 49 into y. So 7 is what? 35 minus 14 into 2. Okay, 14 into 2. And then uh, write the value of 14 is what? 49 minus 35 into 1. And then minus uh, multiply by 2. So what do we have? 49 into 2 plus 35 into 2. And 35 into 1 plus 35 into 2 becomes 35 into 3. And this 49 into minus that is plus, if we absorb this sign, then plus 49 into minus 2. And then multiply by 3. Then what we have? 21 is equal to 35 into 3 into 3 is 9. Plus 49 into minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. And therefore, x is 3. This value of x is 3. And y is, uh, y is uh, minus 6. Then next example, here is 5. Right, correct, uh, correction uh, in the problem is what? Right here, 5. And now we have to express 5 in this form, 35x plus 49x. But what is the uh, answer? Suppose there exist two numbers, x and y, such that 5 is equal to 35x plus 49y. Then what happened? The third greatest common denominator of 35 and 49 is 7. And 7 divides to 35 as well as 7 divides to 49. And therefore, 7 divides to 35x plus 49y. Because we know that if a divides to b and a divides to c, then a divides to b plus c. But uh, what is the value? What do we have to find the value of 35x plus 49y? We have to find the value here. Uh, the correction is 5. So if you write 35x plus 49y, then 7 divides to 5. Is it true? This is not true. Because we know that when a divides to b. Okay. And the larger number does not divide to smaller number. Okay. 7 divides to what? 7 divides to 7. 7 divides to 14. 7 does not divide to 5. Because we cannot write 5 as 7 into some integer. And this is not true. And hence, uh, 
cannot exist so, uh, such a x and y such that 35x plus 49y is equal to 5. We cannot express 5 in this form because of this. That is 7 divides to 35 because 7 is the greatest common divisor. 7 divides to both 35 as well as 49. Okay, and therefore 7 divides to 35 into x plus 49 into y by using the property of divisibility. Okay, in the next lecture we will see the, this property. That is a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to bx plus cy bx plus cy okay and in the next lecture we will see this property and that is if we take 35x plus 49y is equal to 5 then say we have the 7 divided to 5 this is not true this is contradiction that 7 does not divide to 5 and therefore there it does not exist x and y such that 35x plus 49y is equal to 5 okay so this is some different example here is express 5 4 0 and 1 2 6 as a product of positive primes we know that prime numbers what are the prime numbers 1 2 uh, then uh, what are the prime numbers not 1 2 uh, plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 5 okay and these are the prime numbers that is the numbers divisible by 1 and itself are called prime numbers so we have to express 5 4 0 and 1 2 6 as a product of prime numbers that is why I have to factorize the 5, 4, 0. Uh, this is the procedure to find the greatest common That is factorize the numbers and take the common factor. So what are what are the factors of 5, 4, 0? It is expressed as 2 into 2, 7, 0. Uh, only choose the numbers here. Uh, 2, 3, uh, 5, that is uh, prime numbers. Then uh, again 2, 7, 0 uh, divided 2 into 135. Then 135 divided uh, as a 3 into 45. And then 45 divided as 3 into 15. And then uh, 15 divided as 3 into 5. So, so observe these numbers. So 2, 3, 5, all are all are uh, prime numbers. Okay. Then uh, x uh, uh, factorize 1, 2, 6 as a product of primes. 2 into 63. Then uh, 60, uh, 63 divided into 3 into 21. And 21 divided into 3 into 7. And all these are primes, 2, 3, 7, all primes. And so what are the common numbers? 2 or 2 here, 2 is common. Then 3 and this 3, and this 3 and this 3. That is 2 times 3 common. That is 3 square or 3 into 3. So 2 into 3 into 3. 7 is not common, 5 is not common. So 3, 2 into 3 into 3, that is 18, is the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. So this is the some different method to find the greatest common divisor that is very obvious, uh, very simple method, uh, but it is not applicable for large numbers. If it is, uh, it is applicable for small numbers only. That is by using factorization, and this is our uh, six seven standard method. That is uh, factorize and take common factors, and then it is the multiplication of common factor is the greatest common divisor of the given two numbers by expressing or by factorizing. Okay, then uh, these are some. Uh, problems for homework for uh, assignment so solve all these problems these problems find values of x and y these are the problems of this type this type or this type and then uh, uh, find greatest common divisor and express it in the form so these are the some problems for greatest common divisor and we have to express it in the form ax plus by that is we have to find x and y Show that these numbers are relatively prime. Means uh, we have to show the greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 1 and that x plus 1 as 3, 9, 2, 7 into x plus 3, 7, 7 into. Then we have to find the greatest common divisor of, uh, of these two numbers and it is 17 and x plus 17 in this form. So next example, find a and b. Uh, find the greatest common divisor of a and b and express it in the form a plus a and b. Again, the same type of example, find greatest common divisor. These, these numbers are both are negative. This is one negative, another is positive. That is why to find the greatest common divisor of actually minus one seven six nine two three seven eight. But it is equal to the greatest common divisor of these two number is equal to one seven six nine two three seven eight. That is just find the greatest common divisor of one seven six nine and two three seven eight by deleting uh, that negative sign. Here is also both are negative number, but we will find just greatest common divisor of five two nine one and four five. Uh, one four because the greatest common divisor of five minus five two nine one and uh, the greatest common divisor of these two numbers and the greatest common divisor of five nine five two nine one and four five one four both are same. 
that is if negative delete both the negative signs and just find the greatest common denominator of 5291 and 4514 and it is the greatest common denominator of these two number so here is also this is positive this is negative delete this negative sign and find greatest common denominator and uh, the next examples are again the same show that these two uh, these numbers are relatively prime that is show that the greatest common denominator of these two numbers are uh, is what okay then find x and y such that is so these problems are of this type this type so solve this exercise number 4.2 and 4.1 and their answers are given here the answers are given here so tell you your answers solve all the exercise problems in two assignments that is assignment number 4.1 and this is assignment number 4.2 uh, so solve all these uh, exercise in your assignment notebook